Hey everybody, welcome to the weekend vlog. We're going to pick up right where we left off on Saturday. And so I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the video. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Hey everybody, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. If you watched yesterday's video, you know there was a to be continued as to where we were going to go or what we were going to do on Saturday afternoon. And if you can look back there in the car seat, does that give you any indication? We did something super exciting and just thrilled Brian to know <laughs> We got a few groceries and most of the groceries we got we got were for my low carb eating and so forth did get a few other things but not many but so we're going home to unload this and to unpack this and then i don't know if he'll come up with something else to do or not no we're done he says we're done <laughs> it fulfilled his fun tank <laughs> does he look like he's having fun today <laughs> okay, so I guess you're going to get a quick little grocery haul from three different stores. Okay, everybody, we've got our groceries out, and they're in no rhyme or reason, um, but I'm just going to share with you what it is. Um, the stores are kind of all mixed up, so if there's anything in particular you want to know where I got it, just ask me in the comments and we'll try to answer you. But we got a pork loin and we were looking at pork chops, but he decided he could get a pork loin and slice our own pork chops. So I think that's what he's planning to do with this. Um, bacon, I, I got two packs of bacon. I'm eating a lot of bacon. This is some great um, yogurt that I love. And there's several things on here that don't belong on here, but anyway. Um, the pork chops was $5 a pound, and that's $2. The pork chops were $5 a pound, he said, and this was $2 a pound, so better deal that way. So anyway, this is some good, 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 good yogurt. Uh, I wanted some extra sharp cheese. I got some green onions here, some hamburger buns, some sandwich bread, toothpaste. We need a toothpaste. We're out of toothpaste. This is some granola that I really like. Here is some eggs. We're going to have cube steak and gravy one night this week, and I forgot potatoes, so I'll probably have to see in Caroline to get some potatoes. But we're going to have cube steak, gravy, potatoes, probably green beans, some other kind of vegetable, so excited about that. Um, I like for lunches to have this because I can just pull one out at a time. It's frozen chicken breast, and they were it was actually cheaper at Food Lion than it was at Walmart. So um, I love these. Uh, if I've got a sweet tooth craving, some onions, some tomatoes for some burgers, some ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I got some of this peach nectar drink here. Some Frank Courier sausage. This is very much, very close to our nieces that we like to get. And so this is our second choice of sausage. Some butter spray. Bryant loves Kalamata olives, and these are already pitted. He loves these, so I grabbed him a jar of those. You know I keep Judabug, and so I've got these thinking he might enjoy having some of these for lunch, some bagel pizzas. And y'all know we love the Motor City um, pizza, so I found this at Aldi, and it looks identical to the Motor City, so we're going to try that. And my Dr. Pepper Zero, my vice, my one vice. Here is some lettuce. And let's go over here. 
This tin right here, it has all these chips in it, and it was a dollar. Had been nine dollars, and it was marked down to a dollar. So Bryant figured he could put nuts and bolts or some kind of tool in the tin, and we he could just eat the ruffles. So he got the tin for a dollar, and there was a whole pallet of them, but they were marked down from nine dollars to a dollar. Uh, got these for Judah. Um, cheese, we always need sharp cheddar cheese. I got this slow coleslaw mix because I make my egg roll in a bowl with that. And um, I thought about having hot dogs one night and I could just chop that up easier than I could go through a head of lettuce. Um, got some more stuff for my sweet tooth. <laughs> some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate syrup, some peppermint patties, uh, some ketchup, mayonnaise. Uh, this is what I sweetened my sweet tea with. Bryant wanted some Pringles and got some fiber and some Tylenol. So I think that's it. We got a big thing of water that we haven't brought in yet, but I think that's everything. So yep, just a quick, quick, quick trip to three different stores, but just mainly to get just a few things. But prices have gone up and you would have thought we had about the grocery stores out. We did go to one more store. We went to Belk's because I am in need of a bathing suit. So I picked out several, brought them home, but there will be no try on. <laughs> There'll be no try on haul of the bathing suits. I'll just show you the ones that I brought home and the one that I like or the ones that I like. So. Anyway, I'll show them to you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Well, we just went and took some food to our youth pastor and his family because he just had surgery. And now we are headed. What are we headed to do? Well, I bought a project truck. It's going to be a farm vehicle that's going to help us on the farm, but there's going to be some work needed to be the, done to it the first. Eye, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Remember that. Remember that. I'll show it to you when we get there. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Y'all hang tight. That tells you it's bad, right? <laughs> hey, guys. This is it. <laughs> Beauty? <laughs> huh? What do y'all think about that one? Go, go and show the backside. Man. She's a beaut, Clark. <laughs> Come here, Ike. The things he buys. Back up. Back I back never. Back up. I never will understand. Are you proud? Yeah, I'm a proud owner of this puppy. <laughs> what y'all think, huh? Have y'all ever seen anything such as this? Isaac, what do you think? I like it. I like it. <laughs> Oh my word, y'all. Help me. He is so proud of that. He is grinning from ear to ear, y'all. some of you may be wondering about debris blowing off and everything i think it, it has been towed at least twice if not more and we called the guy who towed it and he says if anything is going to blow out it would have already blown out everything is just kind of melted together because it was so hot so i don't think anything's gonna blow off but that is why isaac and i are following behind 
that closely. But yeah, what was he thinking? Hey everybody, it is Sunday. We're gonna upload this video later today, but I have some special guests with us today. They showed up at church. This is Myron and Shirley Griffiths. And um, I knew they were coming, and I'm so excited. I and we, the big state of. Ohio. Yep. Correct. So I, I, then the Tennessee threw me. I was like, Oh no, I'm wrong. I thought it was Ohio. Yeah, but he, he's a Tennessee fan, but we're praying for him. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a great time. We went to church, and then we've gone out to eat. They are the sweetest couple ever, and I want us to exchange phone numbers. <laughs> As I think things things come to mind, so I say them. But anyway, so we've had a wonderful day, and we're going to go home and do couch time. And, just a second. And he's warned them he's going to tell some kind of crazy joke. I don't know what it is or if he's going to make it up. Who knows? <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> we'll see y'all in a little bit at couch time. Hey, everybody. We're Hello, here guys. at couch time. Here we go. We have had the best day. It's been phenomenal. It's been a great day. We yep. had a great service at church. And then we had some viewers come down. You just met them. Uh, they came from Ohio, and we had a wonderful lunch with them. It was just, it was just like visiting with family. Hey, we feel special. They drove all that way to see us. <laughs> not no, really. not we really. Were just on the way. No, really. They, they went to South Carolina to vacation, and then on the way back to, to Tennessee or really to Ohio, they stopped to in. Ohio. Via, via Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> they stopped in to check in on us, had some great Mexican lunch, and... Um, it was just like visiting with family. So, yes, yeah, really, really good day. Hope you guys it. have had a great week. So, what all have they seen on this video? Well, I don't recall because it's... How did y'all like that truck? Oh, yeah, the truck. They've seen the truck. <laughs> that rascal is a perfect find. And it's parked right out here in my driveway. So, <laughs> anybody driving by sees that truck parked in my driveway. Yep. We need to move it. Some of you guys are asking, what are, <laughs> what are we going to be doing? Well, I bought a, a spreader truck uh, with an 18-foot litter spreader bed on it. And um, that truck has a skip in the engine. And if I can't get the engine worked out without putting a lot of money into it, I'm just going to move that spreader over to the this bed truck. Part the bed over part to the, for this truck. So, the burnt part of this truck. <laughs> so I'm gonna take two trucks and make one. And so uh, stick with me. You guys will see that that process come together. So so it's really good. So now but I talked to you about bathing suits and I showed I told you you wouldn't see any trials. The closest thing I got to water yesterday was her buying bathing suits. Yep. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to say, before I, I'm not gonna show them to you on this video because I, I need to exchange and look for some different ones. Time out. You're going to model these? No, I've already told him I, there would not be any modeling. I mean, we're not going to have like a stitch fix reveal? No. <laughs> just hold them up. But I, got, I want to be sure I've got the ones I like before I show them to you. And I don't like the ones I brought home. It was a itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow, yellow polka dot bikini, bikini that I wore for that the I first won't time. Be wearing. So anyway, um, we've had a great week. Uh, um, got a lot done. Hey, tomorrow we start an expansion here at l &B Farms. <clears throat> We're going to be building a lean-to off the hay barn. It's going to be 20 feet wide by 60 feet long. That starts tomorrow. Isaac and myself got all the lumber ready for that, so hopefully the, the guys helping us build that's going to be here tomorrow, so that'd be good. What else is happening? you got to put my trellis up on my green beans because the green beans are about the only thing that's going to make it out of my garden. That's probably not going to happen this week. It's got to. I think Leslie's going to get to do it. No. Yep. It, you have to drop. All right. Arthritis. He's going to do my trellis. That's the first thing tomorrow morning. She's in denial. No, I'm not. So, what else? Um, I don't know. Someone contacted Brian and asked him when I was going to do the, the funeral cake. And that will be Monday's video. Didn't we hear that last week on Couch yes. Time? Well, yes, but it, yeah. But it will be this Monday's video. She's had seven days. Didn't we hear that two weeks ago on Couch Time? Hey, listen, you had me spreading raw. Oh, that's something I did. Now, you've seen that on probably Saturday's video. I worked her really hard this but week. But yeah, he worked look, me really look at hard. That, look at that sunshine. Little sun, little pink. Little pink. <laughs> so. Um, and... So that you you saw on on Saturday's video, I think the rock. But um, yeah, I still have a pain in my neck from that because I had to drive the tractor 
this way, but I had to watch what they were doing behind me because I had to know when to stop. And so I literally did this the entire time in the hot sun. And so my neck is, yeah. Yeah. So we did a new song at church today. Went really good. It was really good. Went really good. So had a very, very productive week on the farm. Um, anything else? Recipes? I don't think you made a, made a whole lot this week. No. Well. You did those brownies, keto friendly brownies? And I did a banana pudding, but that was on Saturday. So what did I do earlier in the week? It slips my memory. I can't recall. I have to look slips. back at her. I have to look back at my video. It slips our memory. But um, yeah, made my brother a banana pudding and I made some, I kind of tried a box brownie to see if I liked it and it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, but I got a lot of fun stuff coming up this week. I've got the funeral cake. I've got cube steak. I've got, I got like a dinner. What's for dinner? And it's going to be cube steak, potatoes, gravy, green beans. My favorite. Yeah. After he told me this morning he was not going to eat anything this week but grilled chicken salads. I lied. He'll eat cube steak I'll and eat gravy. Cube steak gravy. <laughs> and homemade biscuits. That's my favorite meal. Yeah, he'll eat that. So, hey guys, just for couch time, I just want to share a little details. Um, today sermons recap is. <clears throat> uh, the title was "It's Okay to Be Different," and so uh, what I dove in today was in First Peter chapter two, where Jesus says, uh, "But you are called to be a royal priesthood, a holy nation." Um, basically, is what he's saying is, is we're to be set apart um, from this world and this culture. Used to, I thought the church was in the majority, the believers in Christ was in the majority. And this week in prep for the sermon and just in prayer time, the Lord pointed out, he said, wide is the gate that leads to destruction and narrow is the gate, I'm paraphrasing, that leads to eternal life and few there will be that find it. The few means that those that are on the path to righteousness are in the minority compared to the majority of those on the wide and destructive path. And so... What I shared with the church today is as we move forward, uh, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, we, the people that follow Christ, we may look different than culture. We're supposed to look different than the world. We're not supposed to, uh, our lifestyles are not supposed to mimic the world's. Our secular activity should not uh, mimic the world's. And so it's okay if we look different. We should look different in our faith journey. We should look different in our personal convictions and spiritual convictions. And we should look different uh, maybe in our values uh, of what we place importance upon versus what they place importance upon. And so really, I think that message went great. If you missed it and you want to see it, go check it out. Browers Wesleyan Facebook page on Facebook. And um, I hope your hearts will be blessed for that. So I pray that you settle in your heart. It's okay to look different than the world. So, good it message is. today. Turn we out need really to be good, set so. apart. Yep. Set so. apart. All right, guys. That's it for couch time. That's it. So, we, we got the funeral cake. We got cube steak and gravy coming up. And there's a lot of good stuff. A lot yep. of good stuff. Maybe a, maybe a live this week. If we get some time, we might do a live this we week. We might have some time. Hey, I get my CT scan on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we go Tuesday. Getting ready for my ablation. Yep. We might, if time permits, Thursday, Friday, slide to the beach. It's Caroline's birthday. We might not go to the beach. It's her daughter's birthday. <laughs> might go Wednesday, Thursday. You have church. I play hooky. <laughs> Other people play hooky. Why can't the preacher play hooky? I'm just cutting up. So we're not sure when we'll, we want to take a little getaway, but we're not sure when we'll get it done. But Maybe next week. Maybe next week. So, all right, all right. Thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. We love you guys. If you're ever in the area, let us know. But um, we had a great day, and we're going to have a great week next week. Got lots of good videos coming up, and I'll see you then. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. You didn't tell a joke. Oh, was I supposed to tell a joke? You were going to tell a joke. Okay, here we go. The joke's on me. You didn't tell a joke. Which one do you want me to tell? I don't want you to. <laughs> I'll tell it tomorrow. How's that? She caught me off guard. Okay, bye, bye y'all.